Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna try my first solidity contract with you. I'm gonna walk you through what exactly everything means, what I have learned so far, and how you can build your own smart contract and deploy it on the blockchain without actually downloading anything. Yes, that is true, just with a link because we will be using Code Damp Playgrounds for that. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. This is free, of course, and helps the channel grow. So, first things first, I'm gonna go to codedam.com and head over to the playground section and you can see over here i already have a solidity playground available to me so when i click on this i get the option to create a solidity playground now this playground which i'm creating i'll share the link for this in the description of the video so you can feel free to check it out and follow along this video if you want to otherwise you can also create your own playground if you wish so i'm going to name this as youtube demo playground and i'm going to create a playground of so once the playground boots which should not take more than a few seconds you're going to see this little interface over here so let's just actually explore what's happening in each of these so i'm going to control c this over here and i'm going to walk you through what command we actually ran for this so you're going to see we are just running a fancy command but what we want to do essentially is run this yarn hard hat node so what we are using in the code damp playground is yarn hard hat node so this command over here starts a mini network from hard hat which is running on this local system and it gives you a bunch of accounts right so accounts is basically a way of holding the money that is in this case ethereum tokens and this is what you will use to deploy stuff to transfer to other people and so on on the other hand over here this server right here is running this little web ui interface on the right so that we are able to compile the contracts and do the stuff using user interface instead of directly compiling it with cli so you can see the first thing we have to do is connect a wallet now this is a requirement at least for now for this playground but we'll soon replace it with the ability to also connect directly to this machine without metamask so i'm gonna go ahead and connect my wallet that is metamask to the website at the moment i'm gonna choose this dummy account the demo account but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be adding this blockchain anyway so you can see over here right now we have this mini contract in return and solidity right now all i have to do generally to deploy this on any chain is to just click on this deploy button but let's actually understand what is happening over here first so i'm going to go ahead and click on this metamask icon and you can see that we are on this rinky by test network right so this network over here is one of the test networks available inside of metamask and this over here is ethereum mainnet that is the original actual blockchain so if i deploy on the mainnet it will actually get deployed on ethereum itself right and this costs real money but the other test chains you can get get free credits for them the free coins or the free currency for well for free right so you can see for my account over here i have 0.0983 eth but you can get more eth by clicking on this link so when you click on this link you have to locate your network in my case it was this one i'm going to go to this particular link which says that it can reward me certain eth i'm going to enter my test account that is this link over here. I paste this, I am not a robot, and I click on the send request. And you can see it immediately sends me a few tokens, right? You just have to wait for a few minutes and you can see, in this case, just a few seconds. And you can see it has automatically recharged my account. And now if I go back, you can see if I, let's go into the MetaMask, you can see that it now reflects my updated balance over here, which is awesome, right? Who doesn't love free money but anyway now the point is that i'm connected to this chain 4 which is this test network over here and i have this simple storage smart contract available to me now the good thing about this is whatever change you make over here would automatically get reflected over here so i can say this is simple storage contract by code dam which is just a regular dummy contract but you see when i made this change in a few seconds it got updated over here so there's that and now when i click on this deploy over here you can see that metamask again interrupts in between for confirmation you can confirm this and the moment you do that it gets deployed on this chain which you have selected this chain id is number four which is this chain over here and within a few seconds you can see the status of this over here as well the contract deployment part within a few seconds it should get deployed and you can see it already has been deployed and over here i can now interact with this contract just like this so i can go to the set menu this contract what this basically does is allows you to store a bunch of data on the blockchain itself so i'm going to enter a number let's say 256 
and run. So when I click on run, we go to MetaMask again because this operation requires us to do a transaction because you are modifying the blockchain, you are modifying the data inside the blockchain and that requires you to spend some gas which means that you need to spend it via your wallet. And you can see once that completes, I can head over to get and I can run and I can get the number stored on the blockchain right now i can override this number again by going to the set interface and setting this value to let's say some other number i can click on run again it spends some gas it opens metamask i confirm the transaction and once i do this it's going to output the transaction hash and our data on the blockchain gets updated awesome now let's just go ahead and connect with this blockchain over here which is running locally on our system because we haven't done anything yet with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually close this and I'm going to start this on port 1338, right? Because we know on code damn playgrounds, which you can see. Okay, so there should not be a space in the argument. There we go. So now you can see I'm starting this chain on port 1338 and the reason i did that is because you know in code damn playgrounds which is also available here there's a mapping available for port number 1337 and 1338 on code damn so if i go to port number 1338 you can see that i'm connecting to the running blockchain server which is this hard at server this means this could be my rpc endpoint for this particular local test network itself, right? So how do we connect this? Well, first things first, we have to add this to our local blockchain, right? Uh, to MetaMask, this local blockchain. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this networks and add a network. And right over here, I'm just gonna say this is something like, let's say my local chain. The RPC URL we know is 1338, the chain ID 31337 because that is what hard hat keeps it. So you have to keep this one. It's not like something which is code damn related. I know you might be thinking because we have also 1337 and 1338, but people at hard hat are also leads. So they also kept 31337 as the chain ID. And uh, yep, you can just save this. Now, once you save this, you're going to see it connects to the local chain. That means it has automatically connected to this chain over here, right? And you can already start seeing logs over here, which is requested by MetaMask. Okay, so now you can see we are connected to chain number 31337. We have the same contract. Let's say this is 31337 now. Now, what you have to do is actually before connecting or before actually deploying it, just go a little bit above over here and I mean... We have to probably start this again but when we start you can see it gives us a bunch of accounts bunch of account ids just copy one of the private keys any private account it doesn't really matter and over here in the metamask itself we need to import an account go to this section and click on import account and select the private key and paste your private key which you got so the moment you import this account you can see you have a lot of money and it would be great if this was real money. Sometime it might be soon if you deploy some nice contracts on Web3 and get paid for that. But for now, this is money on the test network, right? Now we have this account with us. Let's just refresh this page once. Let's just switch to demo account first and maybe we should just remove the connection yeah so now we can connect the wallet again with another account and you can see over here i can select account three now when i do that you're gonna see our metamask actually links our chain 31337 with a thousand ethereum balance which is awesome let's just go ahead and deploy our contract now metamask would open to confirm the transaction and we have a lot of money so this thing doesn't even bother us at all so we're just going to confirm that and just wait for it to deploy on our local chain and you can see because it has it is our local chain it gets deployed pretty fast and yep this is exactly the same contract. The only difference is that it's now, this time it's deployed on our, on our local chain. And you can see the rest of the stuff is also same. I mean, there's nothing different. So I can confirm this. It gets deployed. It runs. It saves. It creates a transaction hash. You can go to the get function. You can click on run. You can see we got 200. So yep, this is how you deploy your very own, very first smart contract with MetaMask, with all the fun stuff 
on Codedam. The link for this project you can find in the description. You would have to go through all the steps by yourself. That way you should go through all the steps by yourself. That way you will actually learn how to deploy your contract specifically. And if you want to keep on learning, make sure you check out Codedam's new Web3 learning path, which just recently launched a second course as well, testing your smart contracts with Solidity, Hard Hat and Truffle, which is, you know, Hard Hat is something which we are using over here. But yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed working with me on this very basic deployment thing with Solidity. Again, you can find the link in the description. That is all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.